of the, of the crown. This is actually quite good. There's a new tendency now also um, to build uh, wind turbines in forests. Uh, not all people agree with this. Um, they are then a bit higher because the roughness is uh, roughness of the ground because the, because the trees is much higher, so you need higher wind turbines. Um, but if you use forest, then at least you you can put much more uh, uh, wind turbines. Uh, yeah. This is a new development uh, around Kassel. We have some examples of that. Of course, many local people are against this because they don't want to have a wind turbine in, in their beloved forest. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Bigger. Yeah. Um, well, as we know, Germany is one of the country that is very advanced in its TV uh, technology. Yes. Can you maybe share with us what is the reason behind it? Well, solar resource in Germany is not so good. Because of the uh, geology. Because of the, yeah, I mean, the radiation, is so radiation yeah. First, um, the annual sum of the radiation is not very high. And second, the fluctuations between summer and winter are really big. You have a factor of eight between the energy you harvest in December and the energy you harvest in June. Eight. Yeah. Here in, in, uh, in Tangerang, we should have maybe a factor of 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 uh, something like that, between uh, the rainy season and the dry season. Um, so this is a problem. In Germany we have the uh, favorable con uh, situation that we have more sun in summer of course, but we have more wind in winter. Yeah. Uh, so if we uh, use the right uh, 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 capacities in solar energy and wind energy, then over the year we have quite an equilibrate um, uh, generation of electricity from sun and wind. This is a favorable condition, uh, a climatic condition we have in Germany. Um, but um, yeah, so in wind energy we have, I think the factor between summer and winter is about two, something like that. Two or a bit less than two, or twice as much wind in uh, winter compared to, to summer. Um, so the difference is much smaller than in, in solar energy, where the difference is really huge. Um, Okay, uh, yeah, and we have the wind resource in northern Germany is really quite good. It's really quite good. Can you, it, it would be interesting if you could share with us the view of people in Germany or, or the government in Germany towards nuclear energy plan, because we know in the last years several nuclear energy plans is being, are being closed. Yes. And we know that was a huge uh, people's money being invested there and now it is closed. How, how is now the current view of the uh, German people towards that? Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, but not, no, but not exactly. Yeah. No, not, 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 not exactly, not exactly, yeah. <laughs> um. Official politics in... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But in this case, maybe not so. In this case, maybe not so different. Official politics says, uh, yeah, uh, we will close all the um, uh, power plants until 2022 or something like that. Um, so the newest uh, power plants they run until 2022, and uh, some of the older they were uh, closed in the last years, as you mentioned. And uh, yeah, this is, this is the uh, official politics and not even the opposition is against this. Because uh, the situation was now, well, we have now the conservative uh, government and the conservative uh, party um, always supported nuclear yeah. power. Yeah. Um, but uh, especially after the uh, uh, Japan events of uh, 2011, 
uh, the official politics changed uh, the opinion and also the conservative party. And so there was no opposition against uh, this because the other parties anyway, they wanted to close the nuclear uh, power plants. Um, now, when you, when you ask me about the people, uh, I would say actually it's not so easy to have a well-fundamented uh, opinion about that because people normally cannot uh, evaluate easily the risks and the benefits of, uh, of nuclear power. I think many people don't have any clear opinion and uh, among the others who have a clear opinion, I would say the majority um, favors uh, the closing of the nuclear power plants. Yeah. Yeah, um, but uh, I, I would add something. Um, the decision to shut the, to close the, the nuclear power plants uh, existed already before uh, the Japan events, before uh, Fukushima. Um, but it was accelerated after that. Um, so this was the change. Uh, um, yeah. Actually, it was, it's a longer history because there was the, the government uh, of the uh, uh, Social Democratic Party and the Green Party. They decided we will close the uh, nuclear power plants. Then the government changed uh, to the Conservative and Liberal Party and they decided, um, well, but we give them more time. Uh, they will close someday, but we give them more time. And uh, then after the, uh, uh, the, the Fukushima uh, uh, accidents, then uh, it was accelerated and uh, yeah. So this was the process. <clears throat> I think in Germany it's difficult. I mean, you never can predict exactly the future, but um, uh, for me it's not easy to imagine that this process will be reversed completely. Yeah. I think there was one question more yeah, of you. Uh, 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 just uh, uh, additions to uh, most of your mentioning about the conditions of the study was the conditions in, uh, in Germany, which is uh, uh, witness one of the strongest points. Uh, we, we have in our country, in Indonesia, uh, 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 two Sources. Uh, it's not. It's difficult to mention that it's a potential, but uh, uh, it's conditions that, or uh, an area that could be utilized for energy sources. 
One is the oceans. Mm -hmm. uh, the, one, the other one is uh, um, geothermal. Mm -hmm. We have lots of volcanoes mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Uh, and I think those two um, uh, sectors are, are not really a strong point of, of Germany, uh, the oceans and the, the geothermals. Uh, what is your comment, or how do you see those two tensions? Yes, um, I agree completely with you. Um, uh, this is what I mentioned before, that in, in the future we will have big differences between the energy supply systems between the different countries. Well, we have these differences also now, but um, in the future we will have uh, those d differences you mentioned. Uh, ocean energy is very expensive. And the systems, are, I mean, you have a lot of different prototypes, uh, different technologies. Um, but there is, until now, there is no really developed mass market, so uh, the prices are very high. This will be a challenge, I think, also for the next years. I don't see any, any uh, really favorable uh, uh, economic dynamics in the ocean energy uh, um, business. Mm. But on, in the long term, I think it will be interesting. But in the midterm, in the short term, it's very expensive. In the midterm, I'm very skeptical because uh, I think uh, what will happen in the world is that um, a lot of money will be invested in wind energy and in solar energy, and um, uh, ocean energy will come later. This is what I expect. Um, geothermal energy, actually, I don't know much about geothermal energy. Um, I lived for many years in a very volcanic country in Chile. They built now, some years ago, the first geothermal power plant. So you are much more advanced here than they. Um, and I know that it doesn't work. Uh, companies from New Zealand installed it. Um, and it seems, what is always a risk is the exploration risk. Um, that maybe you don't have the resource you expected. Um, this is always a risk. And, um, but you have much more experience than the most other countries in the world. And uh, you have some big, uh, quite big uh, geothermal power plants. And uh, generally, it's a stable energy source. Um, if uh, you have a sufficient heat flow from the ground, it's always the, the condition. Because um, if you don't have volcanic uh, activity, then the heat flow is so, so low that uh, you cannot um, operate a power plant uh, for a long time because it's just the, the ground is it's cooled down. But here you have volcanic activity, so the conditions are given uh, for uh, geothermal uh, power plants. Um, I don't know what would be interested, but I don't really, I, I have never read uh, reliable uh, numbers about that. Uh, what are the costs of the electricity generated from uh, uh, geothermal power plants. Yeah. I don't know. I, actually, I don't dare uh, saying anything about future expectations of uh, geothermal power plants. Mm. Uh, anything else? Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, or uh, otherwise we will uh, close the sessions. Uh, sorry, because of the sessions. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. No, no, no. Thank you. No, I, I'm. Uh, anyway, I have to go quite uh, soon. Uh, oh, I have one, 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 one very short remark. Uh, you say, "What do we want to do?" Right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.